Okay guys, welcome to episode 11. Today we're going to look at some footage that I filmed in the nest using my USB microscope as always. The nest was actually filmed for 25 minutes. As you may also be able to see, there is now two pupa in the nest, which is awesome. So I'm going to speed some of this footage up and show how the queen and her worker organise the nest. Now they have eggs, larvae and pupa in the nest so they need to organise them so there's more room and each one sort of requires different conditions. For example, the larvae needs to be near the food source. One thing I will point out which I've just noticed whilst editing this together is if you watch a one pupa, which I'll put an arrow to, you can actually see the larvae move inside, which kind of suggests that this pupa is new because it may still be making that cocoon up whilst it's inside. is going through some of the eggs and I believe that some of them have just hatched so she was moving some of the really freshly hatched larvae in with the others now when you compare the sizes that one's tiny and the other larvae they grow so quickly I've cut the footage a little bit because at this point I was watching the ants and I thought I think they could do with some water and this sort of helps the dirt and the sand clump together and makes it more manageable when building the nest. What you're about to see is how one drop, and I mean one little drop, of water completely affects this nest. It literally flooded the nest for like a few seconds if that. So naturally they rushed to collect the larvae and the eggs you may be able to see. I felt so bad watching this back, but then I thought to myself, these are Lassius nigers, these are normal garden ants. They would put up with a lot more than just one drop of water when it rains. A few days later I looked in the nest again, but this time I had my microscope on the opposite side of the tank, because if you've ever seen near the start of the series you'll see what the tank looks like, and you can see that they've actually moved the larvae to the complete opposite side, they've got a little um, pile of larvae there. I don't know what's happened to the pupa, I can only assume they have their own section, they're being protected. I haven't seen one hatch yet, but I'm very hopeful, and uh, hopefully it will be quite soon. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>